Hey, good morning. Uh, Kenyon here. Just kind of giving you the April 5th, Wednesday morning update. A um, little kind of a smattering of things I've been thinking about. Uh, it is now five, six days. Six days post, um, six or seven days post chemo. And um, some of the things I've noticed, it takes like for me anyway, it takes about a day and a half to two days for the effects of the chemo to start to affect me physically. And um, I've also noticed a little bit of a downturn in my um, cognition. Like I just noticed like I'm a little slower, a little bit um, slower on the uptake or whatever. And um, that's kind of like the effect of the chemo as well as uh, taste buds oh my gosh like the taste buds not being able to taste things really well um, that's coming back that started to come back last night it's coming back really well today um, but now I can see why people like when they go on chemo and they have cancer they stop eating they don't want to eat because nothing really tastes good or the things that taste good really aren't good for you like bacon or salami or pepperoni, uh, spicy foods, fatty foods, um, spaghetti tastes good to me, pizza tastes sort of okay, um, but there's some things that just taste absolutely like crap, And but you gotta eat, you know you gotta eat, um, so that's what you do, you do what you gotta do. Um, to me, eggs and bacon still taste good. Um, but again, everything's kind of fading away now as far as the uh, the effects of the chemo. So that's that's good news. So uh, now I've got two, in two more weeks, I've got my fifth chemo treatment. And it seems like some of these effects might be a little bit cumulative. They might be getting slightly, very slightly worse the more treatments that I have. But I only have two left anyway, so it's no biggie. Um, this morning on my way to the gym, I'm a little late. I'm like 20, 25 minutes late. We've got construction going on back at the house. They're tearing out the kitchen, so obviously there's a lot of upheaval there. I had to make sure the dog walked uh, and make sure he's out of the way. And um, But they're tearing up the kitchen, so I don't even want to be there right now because it's nothing but noise, dust, and mess. So, Jim, this morning... Um, I'll do some leg extensions just to keep them moving. I'm gonna do a couple uh, sets, maybe three sets of chest presses just to keep my um, anterior deltoids working, my chest working and pumped up. And then I wanna do about three sets, or I'm sorry, three exercises uh, for my back. Then immediately following that off to, um, off to the doctor's office to do a blood test. It's my Wednesday blood test. Get that taken care of back home eat and then off to train a client so busy busy morning um, I think somewhere in here I've got the dog groomer coming too so busy busy morning uh, around one o'clock I'll be able to take a deep sigh of relief and everything will be behind us um, but again like today um, seven days six seven days since the chemo treatment and I think six days since it's um, effects have been on me maybe five days since the effects have been on me um, I'm really starting to feel great this morning so um, a great positive day April 5th and we're off and running um, if you have any questions if you're having similar issues with your chemo or you have prostate cancer and you're kind of wondering what to expect uh, please drop me a line send me a note like share subscribe do all those great things it's not really I don't really have enough followers and likes and subscribers to really make anything at this whatsoever but it's just nice to know that people are following you and and um, and paying attention because you never know someday it could be you and um, I can help you get through it all right have a great day, and we will come back at you maybe uh, maybe Friday or the weekend. We'll come back at you with a new video. See you later. Bye.